I get a lot of different questions about working in Adobe Fresco or just drawing digitally. And a lot of them have to do with image resolution and image quality. I thought I would just make a quick video to sort of try to break this down a little bit because there's a lot of information out there that it's sort of helpful, but it's only half helpful if you don't have the rest of the information. One of the things you'll hear often when people talk about image quality and image size and like high resolution is they'll use the term 300 DPI or 300 PPI. DPI and PPI are sort of interchangeable. PPI is pixels per inch, DPI is dots per inch. One is print based, one is screen based, but for our purposes, they're sort of interchangeable. When you're setting a file size in something like Adobe Fresco or Procreate, you'll see PPI and it's the same thing. The problem with just checking to make sure that you are working at 300 DPI or PPI is that, sorry, I was just almost laughing at PPI, like PP in your eye, because I'm a child. Anyway, back on track. The problem is that third letter, the I that's in both of them, inch. And without inches in the equation, that 300 means nothing. So 300, I'm just gonna stick with DPI, means that in every inch of your document, there are 300 pixels when it's set to 300 DPI. So you could just go in there, open up a new file and just check that it's 300 DPI and you're like, oh, it's high res. And then you go to export it and then you look at it and it's, uh, it's not high res. The reason for that is maybe your image size is only like four inches by six inches. So if you do the math here, four times 300, is 1200 pixels, which is uh, not that big. So that's sort of, if you zoom in on it, it's gonna look pixelated. So you need to make sure that you're paying attention to the physical dimensions of your image if you're trying to follow that 300 DPI thing. So for me, I will take that 300 DPI into account because I will I know that if I'm working on something that's gonna be made for print, that it's gonna need to be at least 300 DPI at 100% of the print size. But let's say I'm doing like an editorial illustration for a magazine and it's a spot illustration and it's only gonna be like, you know, four inches wide. Just like we talked about before, that's only 1200 pixels wide. Now for me, I wouldn't set my file to four inches wide at 300 DPI even though that's what's needed for print because that's not even gonna be enough pixels for me to comfortably draw. Like I, I want more pixels so that I have better control over my brush. I typically draw at around four, 5,000 pixels wide, and then, you know, adjust my height as needed for whatever I'm doing. So 4,000 pixels wide is the equivalent of something that's like over 10 inches tall. So I would still work at that size if I was doing something smaller so I had better brush control. In order to do that, the easiest thing to do would just be like to set the physical dimensions for that final output and then just like make the resolution as big as I want it to be. I could double it, make it 600 DPI, make it 800 DPI, wherever I want. It's basically just getting the amount of pixels that is a better experience to draw with. Now, if you're someone who's doing stuff with textures or wants a lot of fine detail, I think you should be working again at like 4,000 pixels wide as like a, a starting point so that you have that better control over your brush. Now, all of this is only in relation to pixel artwork. If you are working in vector, like using the vector brushes in Illustrator, then resolution doesn't necessarily matter if you're exporting a vector file because uh, it can be scaled infinitely without losing quality because it's not dependent on pixels. That's the, the whole point of vector is it's not based in pixels. It's based in points in math. So the resolution is, it, it, it can't be contained by this resolution system. It is beyond that. Anyway, hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully this cleared things up and made it a little less confusing. Hopefully not more confusing. All right, good talk.